I followed the creek up for half a mile or so, picked up a flag here, a flag there, but I think I came to the most promising spot now. And this is where I'm gonna focus my search for the next eight hours. I am Emil from the True Vikings treasure hunting channel and today we're gonna find the big nuggets my friends. One of my test pits were right there where I picked up two flakes and I can see someone else has been digging here but I don't worry too much about that. I got my revolver ready. some great looking mud here the ground hasn't fully thawed yet it's still frozen at places which makes digging so much harder but no surprise because there's lots of snow still around but that's the hole i got from this little spot let's pan it straight away Here we are down to the last fine fraction of the pan and you can see a lot of black dark minerals and that's good, that's what we want. We got some shiny galena, maybe some molybdenite. Let's pan the super fine fraction next. The only thing I will reveal about my location is that I'm somewhere very far north in one of the Nordic countries. It is the last week of May, which means that most of the snow is gone by now and I've been waiting a long time to get out for some proper gold exploration. Woohoo! I did struck gold for sure. Oh man, there it is. Right there. Right there, my friends. And let's put some water on it to bring out the shine. Oh yeah! Boo kasha boo! Yeehaw! That's a flake my friends. I'm gonna stay here all day, all night. And the best thing is that the sun will not set here. We are so far north that we have sun all night long. I'm never leaving this place. If I found that flake there, imagine what's deeper down. I found some gold right there on the waterline, but here I made a test hole to check the stratigraphy to try to get a better understanding of what's going on. And uh, it looks very similar all the way through. No rusty layer, no oxidized layer, no super amount of quartz that you would expect in a gold deposited sand gravel. What a fantastic day out here. It's about 10 or 15 degrees centigrade. It's perfect gold digging weather. You don't even get too sweaty doing this. This is living La Vida Loca. This is not a typical till because you don't have a lot of sharp pointy rocks. Most of this material is equal grained, which means it has been transported by water. So I'm thinking that right here might be a very old river bend from the glacial times 10,000 years ago or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but it looks quite promising. No rusty, dirty stuff, but I found a flake, so let's hope there's more. And why shouldn't there be more? I, I wish everyone would get to experience this fun. The excitement of the chase. Oh man. 
The very best thing about this time of the year is that we are before mosquito season. If you remember our gold panning videos from last summer, you know that there can be quite a lot of mosquito swarms up here. But none of that today. And look, I'm not the only one working here. Even the ants have realized that summer is here and it's time to find the gold. This is approaching nugget size. Woohoo! Yeehaw! <laughs> Let me show you. Woo! Tally ho! I think that's the biggest gold flake I have ever found. Nice! Let's, it's usually even prettier with some wet water on it. Oh yeah, look at the shine. Look at that gold shine. There she goes, there she goes. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do get the gold fever. No, nothing in this one, but today I found those six flakes, including that monster flake, biggest one I have ever found. If you like this kind of content, there will be another video out next week. Press that subscribe and like, and see you there and then. True Vikings out.